I'm Eleanor Wilkins and I'm one of the team of principal teachers at Chernside Primary School. Part of my remit is to support the development of literacy within the school. I've attended Glasgow Improvements Challenge Literacy for All training um, within the authority over the past four years and I've brought that the ideas from that back into the school to help develop the learning experiences that the children undergo. So today I want to give you a little bit more detail about literacy in primary one and how that will look for your child. Pretend focuses on phonological awareness, playing games, singing songs and the like to develop the ability to hear and manipulate sounds. It's been shown that a child's ability to grasp phonological awareness impacts significantly on their progress. This is why it's now recommended that initially we heavily focus literacy learning and teaching on these aspects. Alongside phonological awareness, children will carry out activities which develop their fine motor skills and vocabulary. For example, they may experience activities using Play-Doh, tweezers, cutting with scissors, threading and lacing. At this time, they will also be encouraged to mark make to develop their ability to use a pen and pencil with some control. And they may copy their name. They will be introduced to new words and their meaning. Once the children are secure with their phonological awareness, they will begin to be introduced to the letters of the alphabet with the support of the Jolly Phonics scheme. They will learn actions and songs to familiarise themselves with the sound that the letter makes, the phonic, and the shape we use to write it, the grapheme. They will become aware of capital and lowercase letters. Many of the songs and actions which accompany Jolly Phonics can be found on YouTube. Phonologically aware and are learning phonics and graphemes, they will begin to be introduced to reading books and sight word cards to practice words which frequently occur in the English language. Writing will develop across the session from children initially being encouraged to use their understanding of written language to mark make and explain what they've written, to sounding out and spelling words as they are introduced to phonics. By the end of the year, most will be writing a sentence with a capital letter, full stop, and the word and in it. Home learning activities will be sent out to reinforce teaching and learning. We'd advise participation in the tasks as they will support the development of phonological awareness and phonics. Throughout the session, the class teacher, the head teacher, the deputy head teacher, the other principal teachers and myself will regularly discuss pupils' progress and if we feel that there's perhaps an individual who needs a little bit more support then we'll look a little bit further at that and design a programme of support um, to help out, whether that be um, particular resources that the class teacher could use, um, whether it be a support for learning worker providing a little bit more support in the class or myself working with an individual child, we'll look at whatever whatever suits the individual to give them a little bit of support in their literacy and, and help them progress. Um, there will be an email sent out with a literacy pack which will give advice on how you can support your child's phonological awareness and early reading development. If you'd like to see a little bit more of what literacy looks like in primary one, then please tune in to Chernside's YouTube channel and have a look at A Glimpse of Life in Primary One. If you have any further questions about literacy in primary one, please email me on gw 10 wilkins Eleanor at glow.sch.uk I look forward to seeing everybody in August. Bye.